stingers plunge into its body. All over its limbs. Multiple stings send deadly venom coursing throughout the hapless scorpion's body cavity. Its heavy armor and razor spikes are for defense, an almost impenetrable shield. It has glands that'll squirt out this colorless but extremely stinky liquid. With a powerful stance and lethal forearms, spikes and lightning fast grappling hooks ensure nothing escapes. The strike can happen anywhere from 30 to 50 thousandths of a second. The mantis's powerful jaws start slicing through its victim. Its huge jaws are fearsome enough. They lock like a vice, inescapable. But it's the other end you really need to worry about. This lethal stinger delivers venom in multiple doses. Twin claws on every foot. From the Black Widow family, she's renowned for her super toxic venom and lightning speed. The deadly brew flows through two tiny fangs. Along each leg, thousands of tiny hairs trap air bubbles. And this makes a waterproof coat. It's a giant proboscis that spears and kills its prey. It also doubles as a drinking straw for insect innards. She also relies on tiny hairs to make an air suit. Even more astonishing, she has tiny claws at the tip of each leg, giving her incredible grip on the water surface. Black house spiders really are completely attuned to vibrations. They're not using vision to find their prey or to avoid predators. The tips of her legs are equipped with scopulate hairs. Underneath the hairs are chemical sensors that guide her to her target. Two of the biggest, most powerful jaws in Spiderland, backed by super venom. Their fangs are oriented parallel to one another, and so they strike down. And the way the funnel whip does this... The wolf spider has four large eyes on the top of its head, but also has four smaller eyes coming across in a row on the front. As the funnel web's massive jaws rip open the wolf spider, venom floods in. Up front, its mandibles are like a hydraulic press, lined with razor teeth. On a human scale, they could lift a seven-ton truck. Scorpions are hunters. Scorpions will basically take whatever they're able to successfully capture. Insects, other scorpions, they'll attack a wide range of different animals. Sprayed from each ant's abdomen, the cloud is like pouring molten lava on the scorpion's wounds. Have the clearance of a monster truck and are as nimble as high-speed knitting needles. Their legs are long and lean and effective. Their fangs are tiny, but pack mean venom. She's three times the weight of the cellar spider. In Spiderland, the antlion is often called a doodlebug. 
It's actually the larval form of a flying insect called a lacewing. Its spring-loaded jaws lock open at 180 degrees, like a crossbow. Then, on contact, they slam shut. And there's more. A venom-packed steam on its abdomen. The trap jaw can't even see its foe. <laughs> Under the sand, the ant lion has locked. Is an ambush specialist. With two giant fangs that can pierce the toughest exoskeleton. Trapdoor spiders have. Each foot is capped with a sharp spike that pins enemies in a death grip. Up front, two huge claws rip flesh and inject venom simultaneously. This guy's big weapon. Two huge antennae pick up chemical scent trails. Strength, vice grip, smashing claws, deadly venom. The ogre-faced spider has military-grade optics that turn night into day. It flings it over its prey like a gladiator, casting a deadly net. is part long sucking mouth, part syringe for injecting venom. The assassin bug stabs its prey using this long beak-like structure. The assassin bug feeds on any insect it can catch. It's even been known to skewer bats and humans. Two massive compound eyes. Heavily armored thorax. Front legs bristling with deadly spines. The terrifying death rattle is backed up by two monstrous fangs. Tarantulas have fangs that strike downward. These fangs are really quite large, as much as a third of an inch long. With 30 legs to propel itself, it's the bug equivalent of an Olympic track and field team rolled into one. The front legs are relatively short, the hind legs are relatively long. It's a unique design where even a couple of spare limbs are put to good use. are sickle-shaped organs that are extremely flexible. Powerhouse limbs, mean mouth parts, deadly spikes. The swift tree mantid. And stabs the mantid with its venom claws. They have their pinchers, where they're able to grab prey, hold it, and tear it apart. In addition, they have the tail with a venomous stinger at the end. So they're able to grab prey, crush it, and sting it. Scorpion venom can kill in an instant. Behind their fourth pair of legs on their belly, they act like... One at the front, one at the back. But the front end is also loaded with a hard-hitting weapon. The trap jaw mandibles. They've got six eyes, which is relatively unusual. And they've got an absolute unique weapon. Two extra glands in its oversized head. 
The spitting spiders have modified their venom gland. The back end is modified so that it's producing combination of glue and silk. Fangs that spit deadly silk with pinpoint accuracy. We are win. On the monster bug battlefield, the only decider is death. Yeah. <laughs>